Hello everyone, Funshine X here. Welcome back to another virtual reality game on ATC Vive. We, today we are playing Felt Tip Circus. Now this is a weird game. You start in your living room. There's a couch here. <laughs> Don't try and sit on it, you'll fall over. I, I think couches should be outlawed for virtual reality games. <laughs> but it's really cool. It's, it's raining outside the window. Um, there's little guys you can grab, maybe. Yep. Bonk. I think I should pick up the whole circus. Anyway, what this game is, it's a bunch of mini-games, um, circus-themed, and I love mini-games, so it's telling us right now, hold both triggers to start, to go into there, hold both triggers, here we go, maybe, pull both triggers, maybe, oh, go away, there we go. All right, guys, as soon as we start the game, we're put inside this little ticket booth that is very claustrophobic. And we got all these guys coming in. Some of them already got tickets. You can go ahead and throw out some free tickets. Oh, you need a ticket. Here you go. Huh, I got a penny. Yay. <laughs> and then back here at the back wall, we've got our um, we pick our events. Um, so we're doing easy on all of them just because it's, yeah, how hard <laughs> this game is actually really hard. And then we've got our event. Whoa, stop doing that. Uh, we've got knife throwing, we can do lion taming, I don't really like that one. Um, so let's do acrobatics, and we'll do high wire. So there's only four events, three difficulties. You can increase the number of players, but this is really only for kind of pass the headset. One person goes, once they're done, they give the headset to someone else, they get to go try and beat the score. Oh, thank you for the penny. Oh, I appreciate it. Have it back. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, start the game. So we're just going to go ahead and open the door, and there we go, into the... Into the big top. So here we go. We've got all these people watching us. And you can actually, in the settings, turn off booing. Like, if you're that much of a cupcake and you can't have a little criticism, can't have a little chalk drawing of Trump on your, your campus, then maybe this game's not for you, because they are going to boo you if you do bad. Uh, and a, a couple other surprises at the end. We'll see. But anyway, so this is it's showtime. Level 1. Player 1, I guess. Press both triggers and ready. Here we go. Do you want instructions? No, I've actually played this game before. So down here we've got all of these darts, supposedly, which are push pins and rubber bands. We just have to pop the balloons. Pretty easy, right? Not really. There we go. Confetti! Oh, whoops. You want to grab them right in the center and then they won't throw right. There we go. Take this one. Nice. And you. Yeah. And one of you. Nice. That was not the one I was aiming for, but that's okay. We got. Oh, no, oh no. I didn't pick it back up. Got you. All right, three more. Let's aim for that high one. Oh, high is pretty difficult. I think you should aim for them when they're. Seriously? <laughs> aim for them when they're down. There you go. It's much easier. Just kind of wait and. Gotcha. We got three more. I got... I'm going to have extra, maybe. And, gotcha! Boast them all! Look at them all cheering for me! Woo! So, this is your score, audience meter. Player 1 is just at the high level of Muse. So, if that was another player, two players, then they would do second player, we'd get to go and see how high they went up on audience meter. So, now we're playing round 2, and uh, this gets a little bit harder. So, oh, never mind. I guess we're not doing that. <laughs> so, we are playing acrobatics. Now, I need to grab this guy. He has a cork with a gumball on the end. And this little guy is going to jump out. And I got to pound him right up into the flypaper. And he gets... Oh, I missed it. This is all a timing one. But he gets slapped, smacked. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, that was a dud. That was a dud. Yeah. You want to hit it right with the ball. Right in the right spot. Oh, yeah. Get a nice good hit on there. Oh, yeah. Look at that score. And the flypaper gets smaller every time. Oh, come on. That was on there. Oh, all the way to the top. Yeah. Sweet. Audience meter gives us a... Come on. Oh, guess they didn't like that one. <laughs> Sad. Okay, <laughs> they moved us up a little bit, and I do not like that, but we're standing on this popsicle bridge, uh, rainbow bridge here, and uh, it says stand right here, and the reason why 
as this popsicle bridge is going to disappear and be replaced with one little popsicle. So I've got, you guys can't see my feet very well, but I have to stand. Well, I guess it doesn't really care where my feet are, honestly, but it's scary if you don't. Um, it just tracks where your head is, has to be directly over this popsicle stick. So you'll see what I mean it is terrifying the first time you try this, not knowing what to expect. So be thankful I just kind of gave the spoiler away. Um, but here we go. So ready? And ready? It's going to drop. It looks fine right now, but be ready. Look down there. You guys see that? That's all going to go away. Maybe. Gotta grab this. Yeah, see? Are you freaking kidding me? Okay, so up here, we've got these little jawbreakers, or gumballs, they're gonna fall out, and I gotta catch them in the thimble and put them down there. Oh, that might actually work. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, missed that one. Uh, so I need one in there, so you put one in the blue. And we need one in the purple. And... I think easy, um, if they're hard, they would like be different colors, so you have to put like, the yellow one in the yellow one. But I'm playing easy, so it's actually really a piece of cake to fill up all the little Reese's peanut butter cup wrappers down there. Oh my gosh, I just looked down. Don't look down at this game. Oh yeah, we got audience meter to the top. Sweet! Very terrifying. I do not like this game specifically for that. Actually, I love this game, but that's terrifying. <laughs> so, here's our final score, and we're gonna get some bonuses. These are basically achievements, so we just kind of like pull this guy down. It's gonna tell us if we got any achieves. So on our throwing knives, we got popped all the balloons achieved. That's it. Okay. Uh, acrobatics. What achieves did we get? Uh, perfect timing. We must hit one perfectly. I think some of the achieves you can only get if you're on higher difficulties, so since we played easy, it's gonna... Hard to do that. High wire. Oh, 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 five for five. Nice. So we're going to get our final score. I guess. There we go. Virtue. Whoa, whoa. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I throw in flowers. So if you do poorly, if you do badly, they throw tomatoes at you and it's really gross. So, really quick, let's just try lion taming real fast. Uh, there we go. On easy is fine. Line taming is kind of hard. I don't know. But basically, no instructions. We're going to grab this thing here. And we, oh, nope, don't let it go. We have to charge it on this little battery all the way up. I do not like this lightning thing because it looks like it's zapping me. It actually jiggles the controller too. All right, we're full charged. And now I can hit the thumb switch right there to push it out. And it uses battery power, I think, to do that. Okay. We can also use a chair to fight back the lions. And I think on harder difficulty there would be more lions, but on easy there's only this one. So we go ahead and zap this and we're ready to go. All right, back lion. It's basically plants for zombies. So he's going to come. We're going to bap him right there. Charge a little bit. Bap him right there. Charge up a little bit more. Come on, more power. He's coming. Bap him. More power, more power, run out of power. He's coming. He's coming to get me. Oh, no, I missed him. No, no. Don't eat me. Back, lion. Back. Ah, I got him. Oh, my chair is breaking. You see how the chair is a little bit dilapidated now? Oh, got him. Charge that up. And... I think there's a small bug. Oh no, the chair broke. There's a small bug here where you can't hit that one. So hopefully the <laughs> developer fixes that. Get back, lion. Oh, we did it. Okay, so apparently you can't hit him when he's too close, maybe? Anyway, we got kind of bad. <laughs> um, I'll go ahead and show you the medium difficulty on the darts real quick. So all this is is you've just got little cardboard cutouts that kind of get in the way. On harder level, they move faster and there's more of them, and they do flips across. Oh, they're getting, they're already booing at me because I'm not going fast enough. Oh, they got more moving. Oh, that was a bad throw. 
I think I can achieve by hitting one in the face. <laughs> so if you want to go for that achieve, go for it. Got him! And headshot! Oh, dang it. Ready, headshot! What? Went right through him! They are billing me like crazy. Oh, <laughs> can we hit the audience? Oh, <laughs> I wish you could hit the audience. That'd be awesome. They are booing. That was a pretty pathetic shot. Okay, so that's basically it. Those four mini games, different difficulties, kind of add little nuances to it. Um, and that's it. So if you guys like this episode of my virtual reality game, remember this is called Felt Tip Circus. It's available on Steam. I think it's around $10 or less, uh, depending on the sale that's going on. Um, if you liked it, you liked the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more Vive games, subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys later. This has been Fudge and X. Catch you later. Bye.